Hello, everybody. Fatbird Finds here. I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Laura. And welcome, everybody. Yay, we've already got a bunch of people here. Yay. Hi, welcome. Oh, I like your name. Cute. Karen, Katie, hey, Vinny. Found again. Hey. You skipped my mom up there. Oh, I did? Yeah, she's up there greeting. Oh, she was at the beginning. Yeah, she's greeting everybody. Hey, she's Joy. ready. Hi, Mom. Yeah, she was up there at the top. Cold water. Cheryl. Anne. Oh, Anne got her mystery box in the mail. Yay. Oh, hey, Jamie. Yeah, we've got guests tonight. We've got mid, uh, mid I'm reading the screen. We've got Thrift You. That's right. We thought that we were going to um, help them make their way to a thousand, but man, they beat us. They did. <laughs> they had like Good a run them. there at the end. Good for them. That was they, awesome. They made it uh, days ago. They did. So we're going to greet everybody and have a, a few minutes here at the beginning and then as always, guys, don't go away because at 9.15, we do our Fat Bird 5. So after we do our Fat Bird 5, then we'll bring Thrift You in on the screen and we'll have some fun. Yeah, we told them to come on and we'll just celebrate instead of worrying about having to get to a 1,000. We're just going to have fun. <laughs> exactly. Hey, Sandra and Stacy, Karen Radford. <laughs> That's funny. Vintage Cat and Paws, how are you? <laughs> Teresa? Is it jo Joanna or Johanna? I had a friend in college that was Johanna. And she preferred Johanna? Mm -hmm. I bet it's not Johanna. Probably not. I think that, I think that that's Joanna? Right. Jo I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lisa. Empty Nesting 2. Joanne. Vintage Vagabond Vince. Nice. Karen, welcome. Karen's on Periscope. Hey, Karen. So, yeah, we've got lots of friends here. I'm trying to find people I haven't seen yet. Can you show Vinny's... Send uh, thrifting again. Comment so my mom will see it. <laughs> Joy, I want to come and meet you all. I don't know if my mom can see... I mean, I don't know how fast it's going for her, so I thought... Well, we're very behind, as always. Hey, Brooke. Oh, he added her, so she probably saw it lit up there. There's Val, Randy. Hi, Randy. Carrie. Hey, Penny. Megan. Megan's out of quarantine. Yay. <laughs> Randy, little vintage me. Janetta LPN. Auntie Christy. Oh, let's talk about that for a minute. Let's talk about Auntie Christy for a second. <laughs> she got one of our mystery boxes, one of the uh, <coughs> five mystery boxes. I'm in trouble still. That Mary Beth uh, sold. <laughs> and um, so she was very excited about it and opened it. And she did it for her first video. Yeah, on ever. her channel. So on Auntie Christie's channel, there's one video up and she's opening our mystery box. So that's super exciting. It's really exciting. So we tried to share it so you guys could see it. So when we get done, you guys go check her out. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so lots of lots oh, there was Debbie Mitchell. Yes, my friend that we met uh, the other night, the other day. So she's joining us. She, she's on the road. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I'm going to scroll back down so that I'm live. There's my mom. Hey, mom. Hey, Rhonda. Okay, so I think I'm live now with the comments. <laughs> Jamie has gotten a big kick out of those five mystery boxes. She's gotten her uh, a lot of mileage out of that with us. <laughs> so if you're new to flipping and sipping, we pour ourselves a drink every Friday night. Cheers. Cheers. And Happy Friday. We just kind of talk about the week, talk about what's happening. At 9.15, we're going to sell five items, which is always exciting. That's our Fat Bird Five. Mm -hmm. Five we've items. We've got some good ones tonight. Yes. And then you've got some little things. Yes. And then we've got a couple of kind of cute things. Yes. So normally after our Fat Bird 5, we just play games or talk about maybe we've got a haul, maybe we don't. Sometimes we don't have anything to talk about. <laughs> we just get to talk to you guys. Actually, it's it's I love it because um, we don't get to say hi to every single person on the chats when we see you guys. Um, that's why I say hi friends a lot because you guys are sweet. You're all saying hi and yes, and I can't remember everybody and I don't want to say one or two and leave everybody else out. So, so vintage um, cat and paws. 
That's usually our first question of the day. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so she's asked it for us. Jamie likes the carousel glasses. These are the other two. Yeah, so Michelle brought these with her as a gift when she visited. At Comfy Cozy Living. Michelle Comfy Cozy <laughs> Living. Yes, yeah, so we've drank out of the other two. So these mm. are the ones we have not drank out of yet on camera. What's everybody drinking? Michael Todd. Are you loving the gazelles back here behind us? <laughs> yeah, we've still got those up there. We're trying to figure out what to do with those. <laughs> I don't think that they belong there. I think they're too dynamic for that space. No, they belong in my house, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I can't. I love to have them in the shot, though, because... I know you guys love them. I do too. They look good back there, but I think in the space on that little shelf in person, they're just way too overwhelming. <laughs> I think that you've got to be like a really strong personality to pull those off in your house. And maybe even a little bit bigger of a house, but still, I mean, they're to die for. So one of these days we'll figure out just the perfect thing to do. <laughs> what are you drinking, Laura? You're drinking something orange. Yeah, I've been stuck on this for a week or two. I like my Malibu rum, and so I like to be fat bird friendly with the orange and blue color scheme, so I use orange Hawaiian punch. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think I might prefer the red. So. Oh, well, I'm kind of boring. I'm just drinking Absolute and ginger ale. Oh. You had uh, the, other night, the other night you had L8, Katie Garnet, Katie and Luke. Uh, yeah, this is L8. Oh. LA and vodka. Oh, okay. I, didn't, I thought you said something else. You I you said, said ginger ale, but it's oh. the same thing, right? Is it? I don't think it's quite the same. Is it not? I thought ale eight was ginger ale. What do I know? Oh wow! Wait, I, have I saw think it. it's kind. Of, I think it's similar. Uh, Karen's having hot chocolate. That actually sounds really good. Coca Cola. Rose. Love the gazelles. Vinny, I I feel you. I have to work tomorrow too. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry about Not that. Not as early as 7, though. 7's early. And I'm so mad at you. Why? Because tomorrow in Kentucky is the 400-mile yard sale. I know. Don't say that. That's tomorrow, and you have to work. I know. I know. That makes me mad at you. <laughs> it really should. <laughs> you should probably go without me. Coke Zero, plain water, and I don't know what that... Oh, LaCroix. Yes. Very good, Carrie. Love it. <laughs> I'm the person. Do you just have them all sitting out in front of you? And you just like take a drink from each different I'll one? I have this one now and now this one. Kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Trying to catch back up. Hold on. Sorry. The eye bags are amazing. Yes. Yum. Thank you so much. Hey, Lucid. Welcome. Yes, they're called. Some people call them Ibex. Some people call them Gazelle. Leaping Gazelles. Yeah. I've got actually two shelves behind the camera that you can't see, but they might look good on. <laughs> I don't know. We'd have to see about that. Hello, Martha O'Brien. Malibu is good with cranberry pineapple juice. I'm going to try that because I think that we have some cranberry pineapple juice in our future here coming up this weekend. So what, I'm going to try it. What in tarnation is an ALA? Ah, that's a regional drink. It, I guess it is a regional drink. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, Kentucky is the big bourbon capital of the world or whatever. And <laughs> we, uh, well, they only make bourbon in Kentucky. Yeah. So it is. Oh, well, don't say, don't say it like I'm so dumb. Don't, my son-in-law's <laughs> watching and he's a, he loves bourbon. And you're going to make him think that I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. As if he doesn't know that already. <laughs> Anyway, they use that as a mixer. Yes. Big time. Yes. True. Hello, Priscilla from upstate New York. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Do Flippin' you have an bottle? No, I threw it away. Oh, I was just going to show her. Party people. Misty. Hey, Misty. Welcome. Somebody said, now I want hot chocolate. Misty, what have you been doing? I miss talking to you. You need to talk to us. You need to just come on here sometime. <laughs> Drinking a three buck chuck from Trader Joe's while camping overnight in the Walmart parking lot here in Missouri, keeping it classy. <laughs> Love it, Debbie. <laughs> Debbie, that's great. Debbie uh, sent me a message today and she found the cutest little piggy bank today. Aww. You would have loved it. 
Awesome. <laughs> it was really cute. Auntie Christy says banker's hours aren't like they used to be. Oh, yes, Auntie Christy, you are my banker. You're my banker buddy, aren't you? <laughs> Man, it is not, you can't even call it banker's hours anymore. Me too, Karen. I would totally go yard sailing with you. That would be <laughs> awesome. I think I'd be too jealous. I don't know if I could take it. <laughs> Somebody says, is it spiced Malibu rum? It I don't is, know what that is. It isn't. It's just like the standard coconut uh, rum. and Yes. Yeah. What does a spice taste like? I don't know. Oh, Jeffrey Ross went on the 400 mile sale today. Oh, nice. Mm, yeah. I wish I could go. I guess I could. But as, as most of you know who are our followers, Laura is the knowledgeable one of the pair. <laughs> so I would end up picking up. Oh, uh, you're, you're, you're hanging in there. I would end up picking up some random thing that I really thought was great. And Laura would be like, you know. Well, the good news is it would be yard sale prices. Who cares? True. Stacey Brinkley has to go out of town to take her daughter. Oh, SAT. Oh, I'm glad I'm done with all that. Good luck to Good your luck, daughter. Stacey. That's awesome. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So, yeah, if you're just now joining us, Thrift You will be on after our Fat Bird 5, which is in just like three minutes. <laughs> so, let me just say, if anybody is watching, um, I'm sorry. Ann Alvarez just said the L8 is made in Winchester, oh. Kentucky. See, I really, so, yeah. I really don't know what I'm talking about, probably. Good job. Well, it is regional. We just didn't know where exactly. What's funny? Vinny. Vinny said <laughs> you, you would be buying the fault scrap. True. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Okay. Okay. So. If you were on the live sale last night on Patrick's channel, mm -hmm. and if you bought anything from us, we will combine shipping with those orders if you buy anything from us tonight. Great. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. Also, I, there's a few people who have not emailed us yet from that sale yesterday, Patrick's sale. So if you've not emailed us, make sure that you do email us your information so that we can get you invoiced. And we do invoices on Sunday evenings. So Laura and I have nine to fives. So we don't really work during the week with our thrifting gig. Mm -hmm. We save that till the weekend. Right. So we do this on Friday nights. We try to source if we can on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. And then we do invoices on Sundays. That's right. So that's the gig. Yeah, we'll be happy to combine shipping. And I think uh, we do have lots of you guys yeah, uh, information, but um, that we we're happy to use if we have it. Mm -hmm. But I think those couple of people we don't have. Yeah, there are a few that we don't have. Yeah, yeah. One specifically uh, messaged us on one of our older videos today, and I responded to her, but I'm not sure if she saw it. So okay. yeah, just wanted you guys to to know. Fatbirdfinds at gmail .com. Awesome. Okay, you want to go ahead and get started, like with our rules and things for the Fatbird Five. It is like one minute till. Let's do it. Ladies with a plan. That's right. <laughs> Mary Beth sticks to the schedule, man. I love a schedule. Speaking of, is Thrift You here, like in the green room or whatever? Mm -mm, they're not here yet. Okay. All right. Just keep me. What just, if they stand just, us just, up? Just keep me posted because, yeah, what if they don't even show up? What if they stand us up? <laughs> I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> okay. Let me put our spotlights on. That's the best part. Fat Bird 5. Yay. 9.15. I'm so happy. Okay, so let me get into the rules. Okay? Okay. Every Friday night, we sell five items. That's our Fat Bird 5. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, just like any other regular live sale that you might be on or that you may have seen, if you haven't seen one, here's how it works. So, we will show you an item. Every item will have a price and an item number. Mm -hmm. If you are the first person to comment the item number into the chat, you will win the item. So then if you are the winner, we will say that you're the winner. We will put your comment up on the screen and say that you've won the item. When you win, you send us an email to fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. We need your name, your real name, not like your thrift you name. Like if it's thrift you, I see them in the comment. <laughs> If it's thrifty, we would, we would prefer to have your real name, your shipping address, and your PayPal email address. So then we will um, invoice you on Sunday evening. 
-hmm. Whenever you get us paid, then we will ship your item out. Awesome. That sounds easy. Was that, was that correct? I think it's all correct. I do want to say one more thing that we are a little different than a lot of other sales in this, in this regard, mm -hmm. because we not only stream to YouTube, we also stream to Facebook and to Periscope as well. So you're not just competing with other YouTube bidders. You're competing with Facebook and Periscope too. Okay. Exactly. There's a few on here. I see a few on here. Not right? many. And so we're just, we keep toying with it. Of course, we've had a couple of people say they don't like that. And we've had a couple of people that love it. Right. <laughs> so we'll just play around with it. If we decide it doesn't work that great, then maybe we won't do it. But right. for now, that's what we do. But for us, I mean, we're able to reach a much more broad audience mm -hmm. this way. There's a lot of uh, followers that we have from Laura's mom store who specifically watch us only on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You know, we do get some watchers here and there from Periscope who come in, which is nice. It's a nice marketing tool for us. Yeah. So we'll just hang with it for a little bit and see. Yeah. Okay. So I think I was going to say one more thing. Yes, I was. Okay. So you guys on, on YouTube are not going to be able to see comments from Periscope. If you're on Periscope, you won't be able to see YouTube's comments and vice versa with Facebook. You can't intermingle the, the chats. So if we say that we see a winner on our end and you guys don't see them, don't get mad at us because mm -hmm. we are taking the winner from the order that we see here in StreamYard. That's right. And uh, just a little suggestion, if you have like a couple of devices, <laughs> you might want to watch and chat on one and get on another one on Periscope and stuff to bid <laughs> if you feel like Periscope is faster. I think right. it just depends. I agree. <laughs> I agree. So if you see that somebody is like typing a number in the chat before you hear us say it, you might be buffering or you might be lagging. So you might just want to go out of the video and come back in. Make sure that you are in live chat instead of top chat. That will help you with the bidding. And since we only have five items, I have an idea. Oh. I think between each item, I'm going to remind everybody to refresh. Oh. How's that? Well, I mean, give everybody a chance to refresh. The, the problem with that is they might have to watch an ad if they do that. Oh. Okay, I won't do that. So I wouldn't <laughs> want them to have to refresh after every item. Okay. So that's the only issue. You're refresh right. now. Yeah. Everybody do it now. <laughs> Bye. See you in a minute. <laughs> you guys, this is fun. We've got 165 people. <laughs> and I'm ready. Okay. Okay. What do you got first over there? Okay. Let's see. Let's, what do you want to start with? Let's do that blue picture. Okay. I love it. Hi, Nesting Haven. Hey. Welcome. Do you have the prices? I don't have pieces of tape. So, but do you have the prices? Let's yeah. Now? Okay, cool. You guys will just have to remember. Okay. <laughs> Most of the stuff that we've got today is our smalls except for one item that's larger. Yeah, we'll leave it till the end. We'll do that at the end. Okay, so the first item that we've got is this really pretty little crackle glass pitcher. Oh, and I was just gonna say, Sarah and Sam, Sarah is, they're joining us in the chat and they'll be on here in a second. Um, Sarah mentioned getting on with smaller channels and talking to them at, on their sales because it's so much more fun to have two people. Mm -hmm and selling items so sarah if you want to like talk up our items in the chat and practice <laughs> knock yourself out okay so here is the crackle glass isn't that pretty i love it it does have a bit of what is this called the pontal mark mm -hmm. it does have one of those at the bottom it has not been ground down that's really cute I think so. I hadn't really looked at that really, really well, but I, I think that's adorable. Yeah, it's really nice. Now, every time you hold it up to that ring light, man, <laughs> you, we could have cleaned it two or three different times. But. So let me show you one little flaw. If you can see right there, it's a little bit of an imperfection in how the glass was made. I do not believe that to be a chip. I think it's just a little bit of an imperfection from where this uh, art glass was made. I think you're right. It is not rough. It's just kind of just a little imperfection. Yeah, that's a cutie. I love that. But aren't we all imperfect? <laughs> <laughs> oh, going deep this evening. Exactly. <laughs> so I think $12 is a good price for that. Okay, $12. $12 and it's number 28. $12, number 28. Love it. Somebody says that seems like a crazy lamp lady piece. Oh, yeah, it does. I love little stuff like that. 
Especially, I really like crackle glass. I know, that's so cute. I agree. <clears throat> All right. All right, kids. The first person that I had come through here on StreamYard is Brooke. Hi, Brooke. Brooke, you are the winner of the little crackle, crackle glass <laughs> pitcher. <laughs> Say that three times fast. I can't. Crackle, I, crackle glass, crackle glass, crackle glass. That was a good effort. <laughs> I thought I would be worse than that. Thank you so much, Brooke. Okay. I've got, an, I've got another one. Okay. I like these a lot. These are the types of plates that I ate off as a kid. <laughs> Not this particular pattern, but this, this, uh, Melmac. Melmac. Thank you. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't think of the word. So we've got two plates that are Melmac. I'm going to, here, I'll let you hold one. Here, give me that one. <laughs> okay. One of them is a little bit dirty. I need to clean it up. Oh no. <laughs> you gave me the dirty one. I did. Okay. So it's got that pretty little clock. And in the very, very background, you can see that it's kind of like wood grain. And then it's the clock and this little lamp. There's a little coffee grinder and a coffee pot. So 70s looking with the with the uh, harvest gold mm -hmm. and the orange colors and all the little. They don't have a maker stamp on the back. A little Pennsylvania Dutch kind of design. But we do have two of these. Yeah. Two of them, and this one's a little bit dirty, but I'll clean it up. <laughs> I'll clean it up before I we'll send it the dirt on there. <laughs> so eight dollars, just eight dollars for those two plates, and they are number thirty-one. Thirty-one. Eight dollars, number thirty-one mm -hmm. for the two Melmac plates. Mm -hmm. What's the difference in Melmac and Melamine? Well. You guys correct me if I'm wrong. I think Melmac is the brand name and Melamine is what it really is. So like hmm. Q-tips are cotton swabs, but everybody says Q-tips. Okay. So Melmac, I think, is Melamine, but everybody says Melmac. Yeah. Does that make sense? That's what little vintage me just said. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Okay. So we've got Debbie down for those. Our right. Vagabond Travels. That's Debbie. Thanks, Debbie. Thanks, Debbie. Those will be coming your way. Love it. Martha O'Brien says right. I think she's saying that that's correct. Oh, I like it when I'm right. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> says yes. yes. Michelle says yes as well. Okay. All right. If Michelle says it, it must be right. <laughs> yes, Laura. That's what your mom said. Yes, Laura. <laughs> I like the tone, too. <laughs> The tone is great. <laughs> this is the best when my mom says yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so next we've got a couple pieces of green glassware. Okay. Yep. I'm, I'm with you. Here we are. Love it. This is just like a single little bud face. This is another one of those times that we went to the auction and got a whole box full of goodies. Mm -hmm. And just uh, saved some of the... Some of it was yard sale, but some of it was too cute. Right. Put in yard sale. So, I mean, I know they look kind of plain just looking at them, but they are, both of them are special in their own way. <laughs> so this one is Hoosier Glass. Yep. And then this one is probably, I think, Nellie Smith, the Moon and Stars. Moon and Stars. Why can't I do that? Well, <laughs> this one is actually really pretty. I don't know if you can see how much it shines in this light on the camera but i love that moon and stars i know it's so cute so this, that's two really cute little pieces yes. for your little windowsill or just anywhere to add to your green glass collection yeah okay so you can get you can have both of those just for nine dollars nine dollars for the two pieces these are not um that's these are not uranium glass oh no uh -uh. just so you know no nine dollars for the two pieces mm-hmm and it is number 25. $9, number 25. Yes, Ellie Smith, that's correct. Whoops, Ellie Smith, yep. Yeah. Thanks, Randy. Randy, can I just say, my gosh, I can't wait. Mom, don't let me forget to show you Randy Heilman's Instagram page. <laughs> you have the most stunning showcases uh, and collections that I've ever seen. I mean, ever. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, guys, so the first person that I had come through from Periscope, Karen Radford. So you can see down there in their little icon that she's a Periscope user. The rest of you, like this, have that little YouTube icon. So Karen, thank you so much. Thanks, Karen. What else do we have over there? Oh, I love this piece. Oh, yeah. You guys, if you were with us a week or two ago, was it just last week that we showed it, actually? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Nikki. Yeah. <laughs> I need your assistance. That's we fun. decided to sell this piece that we showed you guys last time. Yes. And we did actually look. Um, we just looked to make sure that it was not fire and light. It is not. Remember, we talked about how valuable those were. But it is Fenton. Fenton. And they sell um, on eBay consistently. There's like a ton of them on there, but none of them say that they glow. And they do. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. Will you turn the lights off? <laughs> so we're going we're gonna to show you again. Can't resist. Cannot resist this. So I don't know how you well. You get it just right. I know. I don't think it translates very well in the it's on camera. It's going to be a little bit darker. Here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bear with us. It's going to get <laughs> like, spooky. Yeah, we're going to go all white here in a minute. <laughs> So yeah, and then turn it. See, see, it's got the purple streaks, the sparkly streaks that are purple. And Isn't that great? It's got an all over like pink glow. Yes. Actually, even get the light look back a little bit, maybe. Why are you fussing at me? I don't because it's not really showing exactly. Well, Laura, I'm doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mary Beth. All you can do is your best. <laughs> Nikki, turn the lights back. It's getting spooky in here. So Thanks. I love that piece. It's so cute. And they make it in they make it in pink, green, amber. The amber ones are really blue. pretty too. Yeah. They're, Woo! <laughs> they're candy dishes or ashtrays. They're called both things. <laughs> Thank you. That's all it up. Okay. So yeah. This it was a surprise to us that it glowed. We just like put black light on everything these days. And just so happened that it <laughs> That, that those little purple sparkles in there lit up. Yeah, so they sell like in the, um, I don't know, what, $25 range, right? Yes. On eBay? Yes. So we thought we'd offer this one to you guys for $20. $20 for the Fenton. It's just such a cutie. Little dish. And it's number 34. Number 34. Good night, Michael Todd. Michael, you're going to have to like... Hit us up on Marco Polo sometime. <laughs> if we don't sell this tonight, we'll put it on our eBay store. Yeah. We do have an eBay store. But I, we just had, I had to show you guys that it glowed again. So pretty. It's really good. <laughs> Does it come in clear? I'm not sure. I haven't seen a clear one. I know the amber ones and the blue ones. Is it blue or green? I don't remember. They're really pretty. Well, they had blue and green and amber. Yes. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so from Periscope, I've got Cold Water Foundry as the winner. Thanks, Cold Water Foundry. I'm Thanks. sorry, I've probably asked you this before, but what's your name? If you like to share it, if you don't, it's okay. Maybe they don't want to share. Oh, maybe they don't. <laughs> Karen Dondelinger said that when we bicker, she loses connection. <laughs> Great. That's like the best comment I've ever seen. You two bicker and I lose connection. I love that that is. <laughs> A thing that happened. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I'm Karen sorry. Dondelinger, we love you. I'm sorry, Karen. <laughs> Shannon. Cold Water Foundry is Shannon. Oh, great. Karen, I'm Thanks, sorry Shannon. That, our connection, that our bickering mm -hmm. is bad for your connection. <laughs> She's laughing at us. <laughs> okay, so we got a big piece at the end. Yeah, we do. I bet you can't guess what it is. Nikki, would you kind of hold this up? <laughs> I just found one that's so cute. Of course, it's an Afghan. It is. But look. It's so fall looking. Look how cute it <laughs> is. It's like candy corn-ish. I know the green is not candy corn, but it's like the yellow and the orange is really bright like candy corn. But then it's got the green in there, so it's like 70s. And it's really big. Too. And also orange for pumpkin and fall season. Can you see these tassels, <laughs> too, on the end, which are pretty? Yeah, and it's not it's not really easy to find a one that big with no holes. Yes, agreed. In that good shape. 
So yeah, that one's got it all. It's got the seventies colors, <laughs> the shadow, <laughs> the size, awesome. everything. Power steering, power <laughs> window. Great. <laughs> so yeah, this is a good one. Yep. Super cute. So we are going, going to sell this one for $28. That's a bargain. I'm telling you. We usually sell Afghans um, on eBay for about $34, $35. Uh -huh. About $35. We like to give you guys deals, though. Mm -hmm. That's right. Plus, we have to put a lot of, we put shipping on those on eBay, and you, we, can, we give you guys uh, breaks. Breaks on the shipping. Exactly. So $28, and it's number 44. Number 44, $28. Michelle says, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I was trying to think of something really good. I, I kind of can't think of anything. <laughs> oh, somebody said, can they make the tassel spin? That's kind of cute. <laughs> I don't know about it. <laughs> Don't know about it. <laughs> what was the number on that one? 44. 44. Just want to make sure that I didn't miss anything here. Okay. I've got Joanna Beck. <laughs> Thank you so much, Joanna or Johanna. Or Joan. Why do I want to say Joanna? Johanna. I want to say, oh no. Hold on. I think we had a problem. I think we had a connection issue with Periscope. Sorry if that affected anybody. That's probably what Karen was talking about. Yeah, I think the Yeah, Lucid, if you're still with us, I think that Periscope just messed up. Oh, we well, just, there you go. We just got a, a message. So sorry about that. So yeah, thank you, Joanna or Johanna, however you pronounce your name. We appreciate it so much. Don't need another Afghan. Yeah, Jamie's got tons. <laughs> she shared a picture. Uh, I think on Instagram of all her Afghans. <laughs> it's, well, that's it's cute. I want to see that. It's um, hard for me to believe that you are able to find that many Afghans in California. I wouldn't think there would be a lot of blankety things over there. Because <laughs> it's so warm all the time. That's true. It's cold and warm. <laughs> okay. Do we have anything else? Yeah. Karen, sorry. Periscope just messed up for us. We just got a notification that it... That it uh, Kind of Karen likes an Afghan too. Sorry about that, Karen. Do we have anything else? I don't know. There might be one little something. Right there. One more thing. <laughs> Let's see. <Maybe. laughs> bonus elephant. It's bonus elephant time. And if you're new, we also have a bonus elephant some of the time. <laughs> so it was, it was, the tradition was begun on our very first uh, Fat Bird 5 sale. Yes. And Michelle at Comfy Cozy Living, our best buddy, YouTube buddy, um, decided, just begged to sell one more thing <laughs> after the five. And then it caught on as a bonus elephant. It does. Oh, so super cute. And little, you know what? Sam was the first, I think, bought the first one. <laughs> I think that might be right. So this little guy is small. He's a small guy. But he's so cute. And this actually came to us from Debbie. Debbie gave us this elephant to sell as a bonus elephant. So thanks, Debbie. She came through to meet us, and she brought us that cute little gift. And she's like, oh, I just thought you might want to sell it as your bonus elephant. So thanks, Debbie. Okay. What do you got, Laura? Okay. He is $10. A little bitty planter, but he's so cute. He's $10, and he's number 61. Number 61, $10. He's a cutie. <laughs> I like him. Oh, the trunk's up too. That's right. Yes. He's good luck. All right. Thanks, so it's, it's time, Mary Beth. Is... We did it. We did the Fat Bird Five. We did the Bonus Elephant. Amy Hopper Sullivan. Oh my gosh. Hello. Look, she won. Amy. Amy Sullivan, our friend. Thanks, I just Amy. saw your husband out when I was thrifting the other day. He goes, are you doing, are you getting ready for Friday night? I was like, yeah. <laughs> Amy, I know where you live. I can bring you this elephant. <laughs> Thanks, Amy. We appreciate it. Yay. That was fun. Okay, that was it, guys. That's the Fat Bird 5. 
Thanks, everybody. It's like wham, bam. <laughs> I'm not going to finish that. No, I shouldn't. It's not very nice. <laughs> yeah, but it's just, it's just enough, right? Just enough to satisfy your shopping urges and then now we get to have fun and it's definitely right. just enough for us because like we've said earlier we work nine to five so for us to do like 50 item sales <laughs> it's a killer we man. can't do it <laughs> i guess we're just a wuss we are <laughs> okay so. michelle's over there packing a hundred packages oh my gosh i could not even <laughs> okay sam and sarah not if you're ready <laughs> Okay. okay. All right, guys. So it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It is our friends, Sam and Sarah from Thrifty U. That's dreamy. That's fantastic. It's beautiful. Our How's it going? Can open any time. <laughs> <laughs> we may be sitting here in the darks shortly. The ring so. light is revolting. Yeah. I, um, all right, I need my peanut m and I forgot nice. my alcohol, so I naturally have a Diet Mountain Dew. I have a cup of coffee because we're living on the edge over here. I just actually oh, walked yeah. in the door. I've been shopping. All right. <laughs> Did you say you've been shopping? I just walked in the door. Mm -hmm. Did you get anything good? I did. I did. I found some, I got some good treasures. I, Oliver, my grandson, Sam's son, has been over here all week, schooling over here. And it's like, I'm in, I'm, in, I can't leave. I can't go prison. shop. It's prison. It's prison, basically. This is why she always has more things than I do, because I can't leave. Because I, I shop every day. And now I'm living Sam's hell. I can't leave the house because all of her. Except hell. for we were both in hell because I still couldn't leave because I still have the other two. Right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, she was still so in hell. So it was just double hell. Yeah, it was double hell, really. It was benefited nobody. <laughs> <laughs> That's fantastic. Yes. Okay. So congratulations on your thousand subscribers. Yes. Thank you. Thanks. Everybody, give her, give them a round of applause in the comment section <laughs> for 1,000 subscribers. That is not an easy feat. That's right. Oh, my God. That's awesome. I feel like it took forever. It's agonizing, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? It's agonizing. I don't, I told Sam earlier, I don't know if it was today or yesterday, I don't know that I have ever been through anything so mentally grueling in my life, <laughs> ever. <laughs> and like, including a lot of things that have happened. <laughs> I think this was the worst. It was it's you know almost like, it's almost like cheerleading tryouts. I'm not kidding. It really is. Isn't it? Like we were rushing, yes. but like you either, you, you didn't get put into like the obligatory sorority. You were either yeah. in or you were out. Right. It's like rush. Yeah, and then you're exactly. in the Mickey sorority until you get to a thousand, and then everybody's like, "Oh, kidding! You get to be in the good sorority." <laughs> we lit all your pants on fire. Now you can be in. <laughs> it's horrible. I know, and also it reminds me of like you know when you're trying to lose weight and you get on the scales every single day, and you're like, you think you're up, and you think you've lost five pounds, and then you get on the next day and you gain two. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. How is it possible? I know. I know it. I think this is the first time in the history of us being on YouTube that we have not actually lost subscribers. Yeah. Like we'd be at, you know, 901 and wake up and it'd be at, at like 870. Yeah. We're like, oh, man. <laughs> Great. We're like, Who's Super. punking us? Someone is punking us. Who's doing it? <laughs> yeah. Is it Laura and Mary Bell? I probably. Know it. it's probably. Yes. We're <laughs> <laughs> we were stuck nasty. in the... <laughs> we were stuck on like 450 for like a month and a half. Oh, yeah. Up two, down one. Up oh. three, down four. And I'm just like, what is happening here? I know. When we <laughs> finally got off 450, it was better. <laughs> I, know. I know. Oh, my God. I, I think once we got past 900, I think 900 was harder than 1,000. Yeah, 900 was harder. And then we went from like 920. On our last, on our Sunday sale, we went from nine twenty to a thousand because we forced every troll yeah. to subscribe. We forced all the trolls <laughs> to subscribe. We forced everybody to make like you know dog accounts, accounts for their dogs, husbands, <laughs> husbands, yeah, ministers. Um, Tell your rabbi, <laughs> yes, everyone. Call your mother now. I don't care. You guys are so funny. Um, you guys are so funny. 
Okay, guys, if you have any questions for Sarah and Sam, be sure to put those in the comments and let's play a game. Let's do okay. it. That's, that's our jam around here. Okay, so has everybody heard of the game called Things? No, tell me about it. Okay, so uh -huh. it's basically just questions, but this is the adult version. Oh, good. <laughs> Although some of these don't look very adult. Well, I mean, you can make them be adult. Right. So okay. we, we thought that you guys were like the... Yeah, we thought this was the perfect venue to, you know, yeah, let loose a little, let our hair down a little with the games. Right? Okay, so <laughs> so everybody in the comments, you know, put your put your answers in the comments, and uh, here we go. Okay, first it's, question. Wait, are we gonna like reveal our answers? Oh, that might be fun. Are we gonna? Do you guys have like your whiteboard with you? Yeah, just a minute. <laughs> just one moment. Okay, I'm gonna go get something too. Yeah, you go get our little paddles. That sounded um, terrible. For, <laughs> everyone is asking or saying that they're happy I found my glasses. Lucy came down with them after nap. So she had hidden them <laughs> in some sort of hidey hole. Carrie, so. I just want to say, Casey ATX, mm -hmm. that I read your comment earlier about Thrift You being fashionably per the usual late and... Now you're in trouble. And now he's <laughs> advising us not to get Fabbird Pines demonetized. <laughs> you know what, Carrie? Oh, shoot. I already shipped your package. I was going to double your shipping. Turn that fan on. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's laughing. Get your paddles. <laughs> yeah, we've got these whiteboards, but they're like paddles. <laughs> oh, nice. What's that? Yeah. About? I don't know. It's from one board game that we've got here in the house. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> okay, so I'm a pyramid, you little brat. <laughs> oh boy, are we gonna do the pyramid? Are we going there tonight? <laughs> we might. <laughs> okay, so okay. write your your answers in the comments. And so, what's the rules? Well, Mary Beth doesn't like to keep score, and I do. So. We give you a scoring option, even though the points don't matter. So if you match one of us, if if you match one of us, you get 50 points. Oh. If you don't match anybody, then you don't get any points. Okay. Okay. That seems fair. Okay. Okay. But the whole fun is what everybody says. Exactly. All right. So the first question, things that hurt your back. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Mm, okay. Things that hurt your back. And do we have to guess what you're going to say? I think so. Okay. Well, I think, okay, so I think that what people are just going to try to do is to match one of us four. So oh, you can say whatever okay, you okay. want. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So the people in the comments are trying to match us. Which is pretty funny. <laughs> so Uh-oh, Charlotte's in the house, everybody. Things that hurt your back. Oh, yeah. I. You know what? Contrary to popular belief, I am not, uh, you know, thanks to Margie B. People think I'm like, you know, some kind of sex addict. <laughs> um, I don't, oh, I know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you ready? Almost. Using your pants. You know, uh, this this group can make anything sound naughty. <laughs> That's true. Oh my god. Especially vintage Vinny. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys watched that sale that Margie B had where she had that C D set or that D V D set on that Kama Sutra set. No, and I missed somehow, that. It became about me. I'm like in my kitchen listening to Margie's sale. All of a sudden, I hear Sarah's sex life. I'm like, what's happening right now? It's because she sold that <laughs> Kama Sutra book. No, I sold the, the like vintage book to Laura Bemos. Right. And then now all of a sudden. <laughs> no, I'm Are you ready? Okay. okay. Sarah, having garage sales. Oh my God, yes. Lifting God. all of mom's packages. Yeah. <laughs> then Laura said, go ahead. 
Over 50, everything. <laughs> oh, my God, yes. <laughs> Yes. And then I said lifting heavy boxes. Okay, we're all pretty much on the same page. Boxes of yes. some kind. Yes. <laughs> so let's see how bad everybody is being. Andrea Joseph, you oh. are fired. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Uh, Sleeping well, wrong. That's a good answer. Oh, God. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's awful. Living, Karen Radford. <laughs> God, you are so right too. Anything over fifty is agonizing. Look at Michelle's answer. Michelle. What Michelle? She said my. Michelle said my fat. It's up there on the screen. <laughs> I love it. Boxing. I don't think you mean like boxing i think you mean like packing box i tell you what this gig that we have going on here with the thrifting and the selling is not easy on your back oh no man God. <laughs> it is not oh. okay let's go let's go again wait a minute i'm still looking at answers <laughs> joanna beck goodness Forget thrift, you getting us demonetized. The commenters are. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys. <laughs> Andrea Joseph wants to clarify. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Okay, so yeah, if you if you if you matched one of us, you get 50 points. That's yeah. it. That's right. Okay, let's get another one. Oh, I don't like that one. Okay. I don't like that, that one. <laughs> okay, here's a good one. All right, let me put that paddle down. Things that make you go, oh. Oh. <laughs> Things that make you go, oh. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I know the obvious answer. <laughs> I mean, Andrea and Joseph, you crack me up. That scares me, you know. We can't talk about that. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I yeah, that's it. That's the sound right there. <laughs> She's my mother. <laughs> um, what was it then? Oh, mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. Ugh. Andrea Joseph says weed. Massage. My husband. False oh, really? graph. <laughs> Vintage. Oh, cake. that's great. Hot fudge Sunday's cake. Yeah, I love good <laughs> Andrea <laughs> Joseph. Is that going to be your answer every time, Andrea Joseph? Go get it, girl. What'd she put? Whoever, whoever said false craft gets 50 points. Yeah. Oh, even geez. though I didn't say it. I should have. Charlotte. Goodness. Oh, look <laughs> a, a, a personal massager. From Casey. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Somebody said a pair of paddles. Where I miss, I lost it. <laughs> but I saw it. <laughs> oh, my gosh, you guys. Okay, Laura, what did you say? I said Hager Gazelles. Hager <laughs> Gazelles. Gazelles. Oh, maybe I should change my answer to what? <laughs> I said Carnival Glass or Amber Glass. Those are things that I like that not everybody else does. Uh oh. <laughs> Somebody said, I think I misunderstood. No, you didn't. It's just whatever. <laughs> the the game is the adult version of the game. So I think the game wants you to be naughty. So you guys are actually playing correctly. <laughs> I'm trying to be. PG. <laughs> you guys ready? A puppy or a baby? Oh, yeah. Good sex. See, yeah. same answer. <laughs> Coach, Coach Miguel is my four year old daughter's well, soccer I was, coach. I was thinking my husband, but then Sam, I read Sam's answer, Coach Miguel. Oh, sweet mother of God. Oh, yeah. This man. He is going to be my second husband because. <laughs> He, goodbye, Alan. 
<laughs> Coach McGill is dreamy. Yeah. <laughs> he has uh Okay, he has a girlfriend. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. that's relative. That's <laughs> all negotiable, trust it's me. New and temporary. <laughs> She seems a little stupid, doesn't she? Yeah, well, you know what? Wait till uh, I get my cute fall clothes, and then you'll all be sorry. Me and <laughs> what till you get your cute, like, cape on? Yeah. <laughs> your my fall season is my season. It's my peak season. It's my power season. You shine. You shine during the fall. It's well, with fall. a name like Coach Miguel, I mean, how could he not be smart? Right? Oh. Sweet, Mother and he's like of God. always positive. He's really great with the kids. He's never not smiling. Oh. He's like a Mexican <laughs> god, is what yeah, he is. He really is. He's like who the Aztecs pray to. Yeah, oh, he's glorious. <laughs> Sometimes, I love you guys. Sam took Wendy Milton. Oh my God! Go get it, Wendy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> One time, Sam was at practice. He's he's Francis Ann's coach. She's four. And uh, he had his shirt off, and Sam took a picture and sent it to me. Oh, my God. I wonder if I have it. Oh, it's, I, we're using my phone. His shirt was not off. It was a cutoff oh, shirt. Oh, it's a cut but, I mean, it might as well have been. Oh. Right. <laughs> I love you guys. Hilarious. And I don't typically <laughs> swoon over men. I'm not one to do that. But, oh, my. Coach McGill is lovely. <laughs> He's lovely. We're going to maybe try to shoot some video and then attach it. <laughs> At the at the soccer game, <laughs> Elizabeth is very upset with your ooh pronunciation. Who is Elizabeth? Oh, Lucid. I'm sorry. Everybody thought I was. I mean, I'm trying to play along with the game. Oh. However, <laughs> I'm trying to keep my channel monetized. It's a channel line. Yeah, you can say you can say ooh, can't you, or not? Ooh, exactly. Just ooh, just ooh. yeah, and ooh, ooh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hmm. Nikki but thought like that was funny who the Aztecs Y'all <laughs> and y'all. 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 Got it. Nicole thinks our show is saucy tonight. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's eating a little saucy every once in a while, Nicole. That's right. <clears throat> okay. Come on, Nicole. Your next answer has to be saucy. Wait. Before we do that, I want to show off something that we found. Oh, this is funny. This is hilarious. Okay, so we we found this, and it was too weird not to show it on flipping and sipping. Okay? okay. Hold on. This is really something. Hold that thought. Like so a, here, let me know. I think it's a I think it's a salad bowl. I'm not really sure. Here, hold that up. <laughs> Don't get look at this. Oh, it's a shell. It's, it's a shell. Okay. On and the so top there's top. a sh <clears throat> there's a shell. This is a shell on the bottom. And then show the back of it here where it's the yeah, there you go. Oh, so it's not look a little sexual? I think just yes. based on the yeah, look. That we're having. Doesn't it look, yeah, a little look. sexual? Yes, it does. <laughs> Am I the only one? <laughs> no, you're not. So then we've uh -oh. got this spoon and fork. Wow. Serving utensils that are also made out of shells. Oh, it's Ariel's wedding china. <laughs> 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 And these little dishes, these little cups. Yeah, so no dishes. Yeah, there's like three that are curved and three that are like more flat for whatever you're eating. I have never this seen is not the most... thing. So Laura brought this home, and I was like, Laura, what the are we gonna do with this? <laughs> I mean, why would anybody have this? We looked it up on eBay, and they're listed for like a hundred dollars. <laughs> oh my wow. gosh. Isn't that great? There was one listed for a hundred and one for hundred and fifty. I was like, whatever. <laughs> Laura finds the weirdest stuff. <laughs> so does mom. Oh, I do. Where did you find it? Um, this one came from just like from a yard sale. Oh, you're kidding! Wow. Mm -hmm. huh. <laughs> so I had to share. It was too weird and strange not to show you guys. <laughs> Little mermaid. I love thing. Ariel's wedding china. <laughs> yeah. Mary Beth, sing it. Sing no, the Ariel I, song. I would, but. I sing it every night to Lucy. Oh, she can sing it so good. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a funny story about that, that song, though. Okay, let's hear we it. We were all at this really big dive bar pre-COVID. Pre-COVID. Yes. It was, it's just a hole-in-the-wall bar here in Paducah. And 
everybody's singing, you know, like standard karaoke songs. And I was like, we need to sing like a Disney ballad. Oh yeah. And so yeah, we, yeah. we go up there and ask them to sing part of, part of your world, Ariel. <laughs> This is a true story. So me and like three it's, of my friends, Nikki like, was there. It's the silver bullet. Yeah, like, yeah. What story are you about? So we get up there. There's like four of us who get up there and start singing the song. I swear to you, every female in that bar just gravitated to us. <laughs> oh, God. By, yeah. the end, by the end of the song, there were like 50 women up there <laughs> singing that song. It was a transcendent moment. It's beautiful. <laughs> It was so funny. It was one of the greatest things that's ever happened in my life. I was like blackout drunk and just singing on part of the world with a million women. <laughs> it was great. And this girl looks at me. She's like, this is yeah. really an empowering moment for me. Like, this is the greatest night of my life. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. I love that. I love that for you. It was really funny. Um, well, as you guys know, Sam sang some Jack Black at the bar with when we were out with Michelle. So that was appropriate. I saw a video. <laughs> that was appropriate. It's not YouTube appropriate. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Sam did sing. You know what? Let me see if I can. Um, just a minute. I have a little. Oh, are you going to share with us? Oh, no. good. Good. We cannot show them a video. No, it's not a video. It's oh. well, I mean, my mom it's, just. But my mom just said, "What were you doing in this silver bullet?" <laughs> now I've been found out. <laughs> just a minute. Oh no! It's just like a picture of a door. Is this it? No. That's not it. Hold on a minute. Everybody relax. No, you're good. You're Can good. Can you give me a We're hint good. of what's happening? <laughs> you look it. scared, Sam. Oh, no. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. <laughs> oh, is it what I was singing to Lucy? Uh-huh. Okay, we got to be really quiet. Hold on a minute. Let me start okay. again. Here, Sam was singing to Lucy to get her to go to sleep the other day. And um, I was, was standing outside the door recording it. Okay, now where does the sound come, the sound come out, of my, <laughs> out of my device? Can you give it to me? Yeah, I'll help you just do it. Can you give it to me? That way I can eat some M&Ms. Okay, be quiet. Can you hear that at all? That's enough. Yeah, so <laughs> we sing that every now and every day. I'm singing to Lucy. Isn't that sweet? Katie, uh, my Kate, Katie and Megan, did you hear that? That's Tangled. Megan, that's our song. I love <laughs> that's that so song. good. I know, Lucy I likes that song. that song. She can sing it all. I know. She's my girl. She's a great singer. And then she Lucy, sings a part. Yeah, you hear Lucy in there. Light. <laughs> that's what she does. I see a light. <laughs> She's two. That's so sweet. A part yeah, of I've got another question. Her favorite one. Oh, oh yeah, another Aww. question. Here we go. go okay, there we go. Are you excited? I'm excited. Some people need to make up some ground out here. That's right. Okay, here we go. Things you wish oh. you could do with your feet. <laughs> oh. Oh God. <laughs> Things you wish you could do with your feet. <laughs> Oh, 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 that's terrible. Um, hmm. what a what a choice, Mary Beth. I know. Okay, I, you you may have stumped me. Oh my god! Oh, that's, that's funny. funny. Mid century. <laughs> oh my god, that's a circle. Mid century said, "Wait, your kids are Lucy and Oliver. Literally, my cat's names. Yes, hmm. Lucy, Oliver, and Francis Anne." <laughs> I don't know what I could do with my feet. Hmm. Mm. Robin Summers, I think I'm I'm thinking of leaving my house right now for Kentucky. My <laughs> daughter thinks I'm crazy. She could be right. <laughs> Come on, Robin. Come on, Robin. For the 400 mile garage sale. That's right. 
Trust me, if we didn't have Soccer Hill all weekend, that's where I would be. Oh, my God, yeah. I know, right? Yeah, it's a good weekend. You got lots of stuff last year at the 400-mile yard sale. Oh, I know. We got that big, pretty uh, race. race. Yeah. <coughs> so, excuse me, you guys. Sorry. I think we missed the White Pole. White Pole Road. We have the same thing. It's called White Pole Road, but I think we missed it. We sure did. I don't know how. Because Doug Grimes told us we missed it. Oh, damn Doug Grimes. <laughs> Such a brat. So Andrea Joseph coming in strong <laughs> with that answer. What well, assistance, if nothing else? Well, so you're missing her answer. What is it? She's. They're putting it right here. Every oh, time it's, it's the same. Every penis. time. Penis. <laughs> right. right. Drive. Dance. Put them behind my head. Aaron, you might have you might have matched somebody. Maybe. Drive. She open might have. jars. Did you show your answers? Not yet. Not yet. Walk without tripping. Scratch my back. Touch them. <laughs> April. <laughs> dance. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, Nate. Uh, Nate, I bet you can dance. Scratch my back. Oh, Paint. Nate can ballroom uh, dance. He's royalty. Uh-huh. Massage what? my no. aching back. <laughs> Use a pair of paddles. Sandy, you're hilarious. Mm, pick my nose. I don't like other people's feet. <laughs> Me either. Slap my kids. Oh, you guys are the greatest. All right. Sam and Sarah, what did you say? Okay, they've got. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Absolutely nothing. Garth. I had to. I Andrea, had to like question. Andrea, Andrea Joseph. <laughs> okay, Laura, what did you put? I put fit them in a size six and a half shoe. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dang, I put draw or write. <laughs> that is so creepy. <laughs> oh, those, those people that paint with their feet. Oh, God. Uh, you're so tolerant. <laughs> Andrea Joseph is so happy that she got all those points. It's you and me, girl. Penis. My answer. <laughs> So guys, do you have do you have any questions for Thrift You? Do you have any burning questions that you need to know right away? Oh, Put them in the comments. Oh, no, <laughs> this, this is your chance. They're oh, drinking non-alcoholic beverages. No. Yeah. Oh, it'd be way worse if we were. My feet grew when I was pregnant too, mid-century, all three times. Yeah, mine too. It's the worst. No worries. <laughs> like, did they just did they just swell or did they like actually grow? Both. No, my my feet are bigger. Really? Yeah. No, Angela, like, grow size. Well, both. Yeah, I mean, they everything swelled. <laughs> oh. No, oh, feet are gross. Ugh. Except my my. <laughs> I've got pretty good feet, don't you think? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, except for mine. <laughs> How do you feel uh, about how do you feel about men who wear sandals? Mm, mm. I'm not down with that. I don't <laughs> love it, but just like as long as they're not aggressively near me. <laughs> oh my God, Vinny! Yeah, we had a blast. We had a blast on your sale. We really did, truly. Really. Vinny asked Sarah and Sam, "Did you have fun at my sale last week?" Very yes, much. Yes. So. Yes. Yes. That was great. <laughs> Carrie asked, Vinny. "Thrift you? How did y'all meet?" Um, in the womb, I birthed her. <laughs> Dawn Aww. thought that you and I were a married couple. No, oh, no, <laughs> we're not. <laughs> but thanks. <laughs> yeah, next next month. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> next month will be ten it. years. <laughs> if I not, I'll sing. You know how good I am. Oh my god! And somebody asked how thrift you met. Yeah, it was Carrie. Oh, she was being. She was being a smart. I didn't see who it was. Carrie's being a little smarty pants tonight. She's I got it. Carrie. Carrie. <laughs> oh dang! Sorry. You don't have to be sorry. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> That's not an insult or anything. No, not at all. Are you serious? What did she ask? 
Wait, I missed it. She must have really thought that they were married. Oh. <laughs> we are not offended. <laughs> not at all. I think that's a compliment to both of you. Absolutely. Thanks. Oh, so it's been dangerous vintage thought we were sisters. Now we do get that a lot. Mm -hmm. We oh, get that yeah. a lot. Which and no, we are not. Friends. How did you two? <laughs> you guys have known each other a long time, haven't you? I am yes. yes. doubling your shipping, Carrie, and you have to pay me a hundred dollars more than what you'd pay for your thing. Torture tax. <laughs> yeah, torture tax. <laughs> so I think Nate's leaving us. So bye, Nate. Bye, Nate. Bye, Nate. Bye, Nate. Love you. Bye, y'all. So look. Laura and I met each other working together for the American Quilter Society, and we used to travel around and do quilt shows. And fun story, guys, the very first flight that either of us took, were, it was together on a flight to Des Moines mm -hmm. to do a quilt show. I'll be damned. Well, shut yeah. the heck up. I know. <laughs> that small world. Yeah. It was both of our here. first, it was our first airplane experience for the both of us. It was. And we, um... We stayed at the, I don't know, we, we stayed near the convention center because, of course, the quilt show was in the convention center. Mm -hmm. And we always went across the street and ate at some little sports bar across the street. Oh, yeah. sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, well, and the, the Des Moines airport is about this big. So, yes. you know, no trouble navigating the Des Moines it's airport. It's like the best one. <laughs> it's just, like, you just take a step and you're out. Yeah. You just, yeah. You step off the... Like, you can, like, yell to the front door from your gate, like, hey, can you grab me um, my phone charger? Hi, I'm here. <laughs> um, so, Coldwater says, so do you quilt? No. I wish. Laura worked in registration, and I was <laughs> the graphic designer. I designed all their merchandise, so, like, their oh, show books awesome. and their, yeah, their pins and Shirts she did things. all the t-shirts, the little enamel pins, the all yes. kinds of stuff. Me, Charlotte, Charlotte D. I didn't, I didn't see your question. Ask it again. <laughs> I'm not ignoring you. I just didn't see it. <laughs> oh, here's a question for Sarah. What is your most favorite vintage thing that you own? Mm, probably something Christmas. No, you know what? Probably something that belonged to my mother. My mom. Um, oh, she had some fabulous stuff and just kind of out of nowhere. Um, no, I think she was like, I was right before she got sick and when she was in her sixties, she just like threw everything away. It's when she moved to go live with Dave in Manchester. No, cause she it was before she was, it was way, way before that, way before that. She was living, Chuck, she lived with Chuck oh. on Hickman. But, um, yeah, she, uh, I mean, my grandparents were super fancy and they, they had all the things, you know. I, she started chucking stuff. And I think to this day, my sister still thinks I'm hoarding it somewhere. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Mary, I got nothing. I'm telling you. I mean, I have a few <laughs> things. So I have a couple of um, sets of dishes that she played with when she was um some pink depression glass little child set of dishes and um yes. some green depression glass ones and um i've got a couple of nancy ann storybook dolls but that's probably my very favorite stuff that i have but other cool. than that i love uh, vintage christmas but now when i resell um you know anything's game other than my mom's stuff you yeah. know I used to love it more until I figured out I could make money selling it. And then yeah. I started selling on eBay. I'm like, oh, well, nothing holds any value to I'm, I. I am attached to none of this, by the way. <laughs> you know, truly, like stuff that my, my kids have made. And I've got huge totes down in the basement. They each have their own tote. And stuff like that is way more, way more of a big deal to me than anything that I have other than my mom's stuff. Um, <laughs> whoever asked the question that Char Charlotte Donald, her, her burning question was, have you ever been to jail? And if so, why? Um, you two answer first and then I'll answer. Mary Beth, yes. Laura, no. <laughs> oh, we're going to play that game. Mary okay. Beth, I see. I see how it is. No, I've not been to jail. Um, no, I haven't. I've, I've ridden, 
federal prison. Yep. <laughs> crime, though. White collar crime. Tax evasion. Oh, I have talk about it. I have ridden with a sheriff to drop off a prisoner <laughs> before, but I was not the prisoner. Oh. So yeah. why were you in the vehicle? My stepdad at the time was the sheriff, and I was oh, just okay. riding with him one night. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. So that was kind of fun. But no, well, I've never been to jail. Geez. I've never been to jail. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> we Googled it. We looked you up. Have you ever been to jail? I have never been to jail. No. I have been to jail, believe it or not. I know ah. you don't find that shocking. Wait, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I mean, a couple what? of but that string of serial killings. <laughs> no. Uh -uh. no jail. We need details. <laughs> <laughs> well, they let you out. It was a suspicion. They were just holding you. Well, no, they caught us. But... <laughs> Wait, was it the, was it the wheelchair? The wheelchair? Yeah, oh. okay. So here's what happened. Okay. <laughs> you know, we are of the age... And by we, I mean me and you guys. That we used to be able to drink and stuff way more than kids can now. I mean, it, it wasn't as big of a deal to, well, because first of all, the legal <laughs> drinking age was 18. And so anyway, <laughs> we decided to have a party, which was not unusual. One of our best friends had um, worked at one of the golf courses in town. And so he got us a keg. And um, we went to get the keg with the keg in my best girlfriend's dad's Cadillac. Who they are filthy rich, by the way. They still are to this day. Um, we go to pick up. Okay, so we have the keg in the Cadillac, the trunk of the Cadillac. We have like three or four friends that all live down the same street. So Lori and I, Lori's driving. Lori and I go to pick up Whitney, another best buddy. She decides in a brilliant move that she's going to ride on the hood of the car <laughs> instead of getting in the car. And we're going to drive down the street and pick up Jill. <laughs> They lived on the same street. Because this is what you do when you're a stupid kid. Uh -huh. so exactly. <laughs> All while we have a keg in the trunk of our car. In the car. And I'm going to say we weren't more than 16. I was probably, yeah. Lori had probably turned... Hmm, she was probably 16. Sounds like a really good use of time. Oh, she had just turned 16. <laughs> yeah. So, um... We drive down, we start to drive down the car. Mm -hmm. Lori hits a bump. Whitney flies off the car. Of course. Oh no. Lori, oh, no. Yeah. Lori runs over Whitney. Um, not once, but twice. Um, oh. so here we are in a pickle. <laughs> because there is a party. Because A, we've got a party planned. B, we have a keg in our trunk. The car belongs to my best friend's dad. Daddy See, <laughs> Lori, Whitney is on the ground writhing in pain. We're like, what? What hurts? You're fine. Shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Get up. laughs> so, apparently broke her leg in a couple of places, as it turns out. Oh, no. As it were. Oh, my God. I'm like, oh, my God. You're Are you okay? Cry, baby? And are you okay until tomorrow? We have this party, Whitney. <laughs> so, so we have to call somebody's, I don't even know whose parents we called. Um, I think Lori's dad, maybe. Awesome. Because he was kind of, I don't want to say he was the dumbest, but he was mm. the most naive when we were <laughs> doing something stupid. He was the last one to catch on. So we always thought, oh, call Call Larry. He won't figure it out. So, <laughs> Lori, Whitney has to go to the hospital and get her legs set and all that nonsense. Thus ending <laughs> the party. We still have this keg in the trunk, by the way. I don't know what we did with that. So, then, it was, it was summer. 
it was just school was just getting out and it was summer and my girlfriends had a lake house um there's a little lake just a little bit north of here called clear lake and um whitney actually the one who got run over um her folks had a lake house and we would we went up to the lake house all the time at clear lake well her her parents decided in a really weird twist of trust um to let us have the lake house over the week of the fourth of july oh boy which you know how like on lakes the fourth of july is the best time to be there so and you um, said larry was the naive one <laughs> what <laughs> Oh, right. Again. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Well, yeah. J yeah. Jim and Jane were kind of, well, Jane drank a lot of scotch, so that helped. So um, they, they let us, well, here, so here we have Whitney in this stupid cast, like up to her hip. She is seriously slowing us down. And so it's we're like, all her fault. What are we going to do with Whitney? We have to take her. We're staying at her house. She has to go. <laughs> so we said, okay, you know what? We're, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we'll do. So back then, you could just walk in the entrance of the mall and get a wheelchair. You didn't have to put the money in, you know. You just walk in. They were in the entrance of the mall. So we thought, okay, here's what we're going to do. Let's just go borrow a wheelchair for the week mm -hmm. and then we'll take it back. We didn't need the damn thing. We just were borrowing it. We have to have a way to cart around the invalid. Well, as she was throwing us down in her clutches. So um, we thought, okay, so we planned. Here's where the disconnect comes in. Yeah, this is just the only spot. I don't understand why we didn't actually use Whitney as the person who was injured because she was <laughs> what we did was we used um, another friend and we wrapped his leg all up. Yeah. And um, pretended like he was injured instead of the actual person who had a cast on her leg. Oh, so, God. Yeah. In fairness, I was just the getaway driver. Um, so we get them all and our friend Jennifer is going to walk in, I think, with, with somebody else, get the wheelchair, walk out, put Tom in the wheelchair. The word, he wasn't injured. Whitney was. Okay. We walk out of the mall. Well, I don't. I'm in the car. Walk in my grandfather's 1969 Pontiac Catalina, by the way, which could see nice. about 500 people comfortably. And it had a compass that I couldn't remove. So... We get, they get up to my car. <laughs> All of a sudden, we're surrounded by like four West Des Moines police officers in their cars. You would have thought we ripped off Hellsburgs. <laughs> I'm like, what's happening right now? Oh, I mean, truly, we were just going to borrow the damn thing. So, um, what would we do with a wheelchair? <laughs> So they they weren't hearing it. Well, at Valley West, um, it was very close to the police station, Valley West Mall. So they said, "No, nope, we're gonna take. We're arresting all of you." I'm like, "Oh, for the love of God! Could anyone? When are we gonna drink this keg? <laughs> the keg is getting stale. All right, Officer Jones." So, <laughs> so they take us to the police station they fingerprint us okay oh, i will tell God. you that every other parent did not find it quite as comical as my mother did but my mother thank god worked for, well she worked for the attorney general and you know we got out of there in pretty short order she said oh dear god let those kids go because <laughs> i told her i said mom what in the world would we do with a wheelchair whitney crippled over there we gotta be able to get her around we were just borrowing it in fact i think my mom because my mom was somebody who 
like to make a statement. And I think she probably had Tom Miller, who is still the attorney general, by the way, to this day. I think she had him call the police station Doesn't and order the, the West Des Moines police <laughs> to let us go. <laughs> but not, not before they called everyone else's parents. And once again, somehow it was my fault. I don't know. That's when I went to jail. I was fingerprinted. Listen to me. If I would have taken. told this story, this story, first of all, would have been two times longer because I would have been fighting her the entire time, her telling me, well, perhaps you shouldn't have. <laughs> perhaps that's what I should be doing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Best story ever. <laughs> <laughs> that's my going to jail story. What did you see Charlotte's oh. comment? No, what did Charlotte say? She said, I feel like we've met before. Wait, let me find it. <laughs> oh, wait. The more you talk, the more I feel like we've met. Been to Sturgis, 1989, 95? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I have never been to Sturgis. I, I have not. My, um... Did you, um... Oh, no, Sarah, I, did you... I just forgot. Sorry. She's heard the story. She knows the stupid. I, I just forgot you went to jail. There's more, but I'm not going to tell those. There are some Sarah, have you officially met Charlotte? I have not. I don't think so. Okay. If you don't know Charlotte, Charlotte stumbled upon flipping and sipping one night. And just, we all had the best time because she was like, what is happening here? What is this? What even are you doing? <laughs> and she just kept on and on. And people were trying to explain it to her. And she was like, I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> we're like, neither do we. No, that's fantastic. And it was so funny. And, and we we're like, I bet Cheryl, I bet Cheryl will never come back. But she's come back every time since. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> that's like, um, we have this kid. The weird, uh, weird iOS or something. Mr. Yeah. Weird's iOS weird or something. Weird something. He was, I think, um, well, he happened on our channel absolutely by accident. He's like 13. He's 13 years old. His name's Hugh. <laughs> he comes every sale. He comes every sale. He gets oh, upset okay. if he misses a sale. Mm -hmm. And he okay. always spams the chat with like really interesting space facts. <laughs> it's a great turn of topic it's beautiful it is it is <laughs> the show. uh lois hoover wants to know what happened to the keg oh damn it lois i am positive <laughs> that at some point we drank that keg if i know me and we I drank it stale beer and all we drank it yes we used to go to a place in Des Moines. It was like a lime field. And I can't even tell you where it is. A lime we, field? We called it the lost planet because it kind of glows at night. Oh, like lime the stone. Lime. I'm like, the, there's no limes that grow here. <laughs> <laughs> no, lime like stone. Yes, Got it. And it glows. So I'm sure we went to the lost planet and drank. Although I will tell you that I am old enough that um, we used to drink in the parking lot at our high school. So, okay. And I don't mean just uh, like hiding your car and drink. No, no. Um, oh, true too. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. And the West Des Moines Police Department was right across the street. I mean, there would be times. Still is. If there wasn't a party going on, if somebody wasn't having a party, you know, you would say, okay, we're going to meet at Valley. And there would be four or 500 people in the parking lot in their car. And we would be having a party, like a real party. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's how we get down. So Lois, to tell you that, <laughs> that keg went wasted would be a lie. Yeah. Yeah. It, it got drank. I'm sure of it. And then I got hepatitis <laughs> and I can't really drink anymore. Yeah. Well. I mean, I have a couple, you know, I can have a couple beers, but. Right. <laughs> I love it, guys. Oh, my so, gosh. One more thing here before you leave this spot. Yeah. So Charlotte that we're talking about, she drank for Vinny. She drinks for Vinny when Vinny has to work the next day. Because we tell Vinny to drink every time he makes an age crack. And he has to finish his drink. So Charlotte will drink for Vinny. But anyway, so Charlotte, you've got an auction on Sunday. What do you mean awesome. you have an auction? Like live? It, do you have a YouTube? Them? Tell us more, about? Charlotte. Give us more information. Tell we need to know more information. More. What the hell are you talking about, Charlotte? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody needs to make it. Nikki Fuller. Someone could make our her. There's a lot. 
I wouldn't even know where to start. Oh, wait. She sure. used to sell moonshine after school. A little side hustle. <laughs> side hustle. My husband loves moonshine. Charlotte, can you hook me up? What is the show called? Moonshiners or something like that? Or Hillbilly Shine? Oh, oh. He's desperate to his hands on some real moonshine. And I'm like, no, I don't think you are. It's like drinking fire. Yeah, okay. It's then true. take a your stomach lining. It's over. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe she's moonshine. Here, here, here we go. Okay. Oh, she's, she's going to be on Jennifer Layton's channel. Who's Jennifer It's Layton? jewelry. It's what jewelry. Wait, who's jewelry? Jennifer? Oh, jewelry. Jennifer Layton, I need to write that down. Yeah, I need to write that down, too, so I don't forget it. Jennifer. Charlotte, we're coming out to support you. That's we're right. We're girl. What write time on down. Sunday? Our yeah, Sunday what time, Sunday. Charlotte? Jennifer Layton. Here we all are all like writing it down. Everybody, write down Jennifer <laughs> Layton auction Saturday. Yeah. No, we, Sunday. 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 <laughs> we need to know the time. <coughs> I, I got to stop everybody. Karen Radford dated a serial killer and lived. Like a Tell real no, everything. No. Right it was now. Charlotte. No, no, it was Charlotte. That's Charlotte's story. What That's why it was so funny. She, it know. was one of our games. We were playing a game, and it was one of the questions was... Somebody famous that you've met or something, and she said, well, I dated a serial killer. Which one? Right? <laughs> I think I know. That was a great day. serial killers, too. I've got to know. i got to know. Eight. She says it's on at eight. Eight central? Eight. Okay. Eight. Yeah, what time zone? Is it Eastern? I could use some new yes. jewelry. What I'm just waiting for which serial killer it was. I need to know. <laughs> Everybody, we need to support Charlotte. <laughs> She's uh, been through enough already. Danny That's Wilson. right. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll do a sale with you, vintage cat and paws. Absolutely. Oh, heck yeah. We'd be mm. happy to. Um, she said, what's the time zone? I'm waiting on you, Charlotte. <laughs> well, she's answering my very serious. serious Who's question. Danny Wilson? Is that? I'm That's taking... the serial killer. Okay, Charlotte, yes. I'm taking notes. <laughs> Danny Wilson. He was put to death. I will look him up. I want to know the whole story. Oh, eight Eastern. And I'm so happy you lived. Eastern. <laughs> what kind of what kind of jewelry? What are we talking? Eight Eastern. Killed as many as 10 to 50. What in the living hell, Charlotte? <laughs> What is happening? Why are your lives going so He was put to death. Did you read that? Did you read what? it? No. <laughs> Angela <laughs> wants to know if those trivia cards we sent her are collectible. I don't think so. We just normally get trivia games and card games from like the Goodwill or other like, yard sales and things, and we like to send uh, trivia cards and game cards in our package toppers. Yeah, so fun. Most likely not. It's we. It's just kind of fun because we play games, and we also send um, sometimes drink recipes. Mm -hmm. on oh, cards that's because, a cute idea. Yeah. Because it's flipping an idea. Oh my god! Okay. See, what I now? for some reason perpetually miss mm -hmm. Fat Bird finds, and obviously I'm missing all the interesting people, such I'm as Charlotte, Charlotte <laughs> McDonald, the mistress to a serial killer. Listen, I know that this is not our content. I know serial killers is not our content. Sam, however, lives for it. Sam lives for it. I am a true murderer. True yeah. Love it so much. <laughs> so. I might do I might do an episode oh like a a, a, a video you are doing on Danny wrong. Wilson and I am not have Charlotte. Charlotte on with you because I'm not oh no I'll record it and I'll make it all spooky I, like X Files I can't <laughs> I'm gonna be washing my hair that day I can't you're not invited oh, thank God watch oh. your show yeah maybe I will. Why don't you and Charlotte do it? Look well, no, at Elvis. Maybe I'll do, do Elvis. Elvis. Well, because clearly I don't have your support. <laughs> do I? It's, it's a good thing that we've got all sorts of viewers. We've got viewers offering <laughs> help, psychiatric <laughs> nurse. Yes. Yes. We're, we're all here for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, thank God. Oh. Thank God. That's so oh, funny. Yeah, that's true crime. Drives me out of my mind. Good idea, Sam. Oh, of course you all support Sam. Of course you do. <laughs> Fine. 
fine. You look, do these right crime people can have your own. Hey, audience. Sam, look. Sam, look at that comment. <laughs> cool, too bad he's dead. I could have hooked you up. Girl, no. I'm going to write the story about how you survived. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, oh god. god. It's so <laughs> bad. Oh. Uh, okay. More. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Yes. We're going to we're going to do one more card game okay, and then good. we're we're going to we're going to sign off cuz Laura has to work in the morning. I, I but we that. have to have I know. We have to have enough card games for me to put in my package top yes. cuz we signed the cards. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to do one more card game. So Here's yeah. a good one. Hang on. I've, 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 I've got a, Laura's interrupting me. Do like a puzzle every time, one. A riddle. Every time I... Okay. What do you want to... Which... Nah, comment? it's gone. Oh. Well, what was it? I'll find it. Yeah, this one. This one? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad. Look at these little elephants. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's cute. Can I, are those for sale, men all? <laughs> you know what? I can't see very well. I thought that was like an alien. I'm like, what the hell? What is his what is his picture he has there? <laughs> Who is that? Oh my god. Do you want some do you, are you requesting like trivia type questions, Sarah? Is I think you need to that? follow your heart. Don't let her boss you around. You do whatever you want. No, I want you to do like a riddle because Sam's really good at them. Oh. I don't have any riddles. I don't have any. Oh, oh no. She means the ones that you read, like the the Mad Gab ones that Michelle loves. So oh, much. Michelle oh, no. hates that. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. We can't Andrea see Joseph is already answered. Okay, yeah. we're good. Sorry. <laughs> Andrea's already answered. We haven't a a asked the question yet. Okay. <laughs> no, here's the here's the last. The last one, if you if you match any of our answers, you get one hundred points. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is it. This is this the is big, big one. Miami. Okay. Okay. Things oh. you shouldn't put in your mouth. Cool. Okay. Andrea got it right already. Uh, Things you shouldn't put in your mouth. Uh, Here I got it. Uh, huh. What am I going to say? I can't do Mad Gab either. Who's from Humboldt? Yeah, I'm not good at it. Sandra, are you from Humboldt? Uh, relative insanity will be perfect for this group. Oh, I've never heard of it. Like it matters. Michelle, it does matter. <laughs> this is a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie is hopping on the Andrea Joseph wagon. <laughs> I think everybody. Yeah, I'm surprised. Um, McComfy hasn't said Oh, before. Lucid. McComfy is commenting, yes. Has she said, um, has she? There she is. She would disagree with that. She would definitely, you know how she is. You gotta quit cheating. You gotta write your own answer. She's not, I am. I'm not, I was looking for Michelle, but I didn't see it. Sandy, I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, dirty fingernails. Gross. Ooh, other people speak. Oh. Sandy. <laughs> Ooh, Carrie. <laughs> M and M's. Oh, that's pointed at Sarah. I love M and M's. Me yeah, for the win. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You shut your mouth. Whoever said M and M's. Shrimp. Ugh. Ooh, anything mm. dropped on the men's room floor? Jamie. <laughs> Swords. Mary, this is just to name a few. I thought you just wrote the C. <laughs> <laughs> there. Ooh, there was a good I one. Anything food more. found in the bins? Gross, Ooh. man. Gross. We haven't been to the bins. Have you guys been to the bins? Maddie has gone. You have gone, right? To oh, the bins. I've been just a couple times. I don't think I have the patience for it. Yeah, it's I not don't. quite my jam. I, I haven't been yet, though, so... We don't yeah. have that here. I, I think you have to like be there all day almost, you know, you gotta wait till they turn them around. I just don't, I don't have that kind of patience. <laughs> um, okay. My answer was coronavirus. <laughs> oh, good answer. Timely answer. 
Yes. <laughs> money is money. Being a banker is oh, so yeah. gross. Money is money so, so gross. You also have to consider the fact that some women make their money by dancing, and men, and they usually don't have very many clothes on, so oh, they yeah. have to put them in places that will hold it without clothes. Do you know, exactly. Do you know what's the very worst? When you get wet money. Because oh. you know that it's been somewhere disgusting. Oh. I actually had a lady reach into her bra and take her money out and it was wet and put it right on the counter. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about oh. that. Oh. Yuck. Ew. Yeah, that's Ew. bad. There's our answers. <laughs> Sour cream, onion, Pringles, olives, mushrooms, sun chips, anything from the sea. I mean, anything like that doesn't consent to being in your mouth. Great answers, <laughs> ladies. I hate seafood. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of seafood myself. Oh, my I like God. To oh Vin Vinny, I got bra money the other day from a customer. It was so gross. Oh. You got a what? Yeah. Vinny got bra money. Vinny got bra money, too. Vinny. Yeah. Oh. Oh, and she was greasy. There's oh. Auntie Christy. She's my banker buddy. She says money. Yeah. Oh, gross. Money with blood on it. Ugh. Uh, God, money is filthy. Are you wearing gloves? What's happening? <laughs> oh. Oh. Sex work, is work, people. <laughs> There's no shame in sex work. No shame. That's no right. Shame. Do what you yeah. got to do. But God, that's a good money out of your bra when you're sweating. Put I your mean, money in a bag. That's, not too, for the that's love. not too much to ask. You know, just uh, do it for the bank. Common courtesy. Good Lord. Come on. Boy, don't you wish you had the money of the body of a stripper? I do. Oh, you can make so much money. A lot of money in that. I can't find the. I Most can't find the comment I was looking for. But... See. Ooh. Oh, oh no. Damp. I hate the word damp. Ugh. Oh yeah, that's bad. <laughs> Moist. Oh. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Hey, somebody asked, I can't find it now, but somebody asked if you were surprised to get like 800 viewers the other night. Yeah, we had a lot. I was like, come on. come on, spill the tea. How did you get that many viewers? I have no idea. I would have a clue. I think it's because I put in the title giveaway, um, mystery box, party, you know, things that would reach other yeah. people other than just our, you know, <laughs> our vintage friends. I don't know. Well, that I was think awesome. That's what no clue. And our last two lives have got a lot of views. Two and our our live that we hit a thousand has like seven thousand something views. And then wow. this one is like forty eight hundred. Yeah, almost five thousand. Mm -hmm. I I wow. really know what's happening. It was gamers. Here's my theory, Don. You're I think you're exactly right. So Oliver watches um, YouTube when he's mm -hmm. at Grandma's house, and he's on the Thrift View channel. So he's going and watching like. Minecraft videos and mm -hmm. stuff, stuff with guns and stuff. I don't know. And uh, so I think th the way it's doing it is that the algorithm's like pushing our video into other people's autoplays. And so they're like, what am I doing here? Because we get a lot of that. Of yeah, but then they stay. That. And then they stay. They stay. Very so. nice. Very nice. <laughs> That's great. Right. Our, and gaming world. Our, our, you know, our, our wenches, our wrenches want to kick them out. We're like, no, let them stay. Unless they're being bad. To subscribe. B, <laughs> uh, you know, just clean up the language. Other than that, you're fine. I don't care. I don't, just don't, <laughs> don't assault anyone. <laughs> I don't care if you're weird. Yeah, yeah, don't start stalking anyone or anything. That's yeah, weird. Don't, don't get gross. <laughs> True. <laughs> we, all, we always invite them to stay. Yeah, we don't care. <laughs> hey, Andy. Hey, Hey, Annie P. Annie P. Annie P. I think you're my uh, Animal Crossing buddy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Me and Annie P, we're really big gamers. We play Animal Crossing. <laughs> you guys are big gamers. That's how you're going to get the gamers. Look at you. you oh, there you go. Yeah, I love Animal Crossing. Crossing. Animal Crossing is kind of like thrifting. <laughs> Isn't it? It is. Yeah. <laughs> you got to start playing, uh, what's that game? Minecraft? Fortnite? No, Fortnite. Mm. You guys start uh, playing Fortnite. That's what <laughs> Mary Becky is good at that. I've tried Fortnite. I'm not super good at it actually, but I've tried. Okay. 
Okay, so I think that's gonna wrap it up, guys. So we want to thank, from the bottom of our hearts, Thrift You for being on the channel. Oh, we so thank you. make sure <laughs> if you are not subscribed to Thrift You, go do that as soon as this video is over. Go subscribe to Thrift You. They are awesome. They do live sales. They put out great content. You have to say it like Sarah immediately. Immediately. Now. <laughs> Just if you you know when you have a sec, hop over. That's Sam. Here's me. Do it now. <laughs> Whenever is convenient for you. Now. And if you're not subscribed to us, what are you doing here? Exactly. Do it. All it takes. Look, Jamie's been point. waiting. <laughs> We is got it? an is it from Mary Beth, so everybody drinks. So everybody drink. finish your drink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you guys have a great night. You Thanks too. for having us on, guys. Thanks. Thanks. We you. love you. Okay, we'll see you guys next time. Have a great weekend. Bye. Bye, everybody. Okay, so again, we want to thank all of you guys for being on here. We're going to cut it just a little bit. Um, early tonight because Laura does have to work in the morning. <laughs> if you won an item from us either tonight or last night on Patrick's sale, make sure that you send us an email, fatbirdfinds at gmail.com. We need your information so that we can get your stuff to you. That's right. So yeah, we will combine shipping. If you were a duplicate buyer, we'll be happy to do that and it'll be great. Mm -hmm. Okay, so make sure you like this video, guys, if you haven't already. Um, leave us a comment after this video posts if you want. Have a great weekend. Anything else? Yeah, I, I think that since you said is it, I have to say it's adorable. That's adorable. It's adorable. Thrift You was adorable. They were. Michelle, you're adorable. Michelle. Love you. Love you. <laughs> okay, guys, be sure to stay tuned to see what Fat Bird finds next. See you next time. Bye, everybody.